Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to change or remove keyboard for Dell Attitude 5480. So let's get started. First of all, we need to remove the keyboard cover. To do that, you, need, you can use a flathead screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver. There's two little hole on the keyboard. You can just pull, pull the keyboard cover and it'll come out. There's no screw attached. It's just clipped in. Put it away. <coughs> now we'll uh, remove some screws so there is about six screws attached to the keyboard we will remove them i've fast forwarded the process to save some time now Now close the lid and switch the laptop over. Remove all the screws from the back. So unscrew them. The screws will not come out so you can just leave them on. Uh, same way you use a flathead screwdriver and you can just pull the back cover out first we will unplug the battery and there is screw attached to the battery so keyboard cables are connected underneath the battery so we'll have to remove the battery it's just one screw you need to unscrew and then the battery will come out Uh, on this keyboard there is four ribbon cable attached so one two three four <coughs> we'll unplug them and gently take them out you don't need the fifth one so just four of them so Once it's unplugged, now switch the laptop over. And just push the laptop a little bit just to where it's holding. Make sure it's not attached already when you're pulling it out. There you go. The laptop keyboard is disconnected. 
now i'll put this keyboard back on again because this is a working keyboard i've just taken it out to make this video so we'll put it back on again and flip the laptop over make sure the keyboard is sitting properly Now we will reconnect the cables. Make sure it's attached to the base properly, otherwise keyboard will not work. So I'm just making sure it's gone to the place. Now final one. Now <coughs> before you put the back cover on uh, just switch the laptop on, put the battery on and then switch the laptop on to see if it's, if the keyboard is working. If not, uh, you might need to take the cables off again and put it back on again. Now we'll check if the keyboard is working. It takes a little time to boot up, so I'm waiting for laptop to boot up. There you go, the backlight is working, that means the laptop's keyboard is working fine. I'll just check again to type in some numbers. Now we are sure that laptop is working, the keyboard is working fine, 
Now I will switch the laptop off. I'll shut it down. Now I will put the back cover on. So make sure the back cover is clipped in and then put all the screws in. Screws uh, attached, already attached to the back cover. So I just need to Tighten them. Once it's done, flip it over and then open the lid. I'll put all the screws for the keyboard. These screws are really tiny, so be careful when you're putting them on. Once all the screws are in, we'll put the keyboard cover. So this will clip in. So first put one side and then you can just push it in. Make sure all sides are clipped in. Now our process is completed, we'll check the keyboard once again. I hope you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit, a like, hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Thank you very much.